seems like I have like all the advantages in the world to be successful. And the more I've gotten, I realize that not everybody has those advantages. And so to me, um, I feel a responsibility to be a role model and to help younger women especially see what they can do um, and the options are unlimited. And so um, I put some thought into that. So I think, I think it's just um, the sense of responsibility to give back and to pay it forward and to um, pay back people that were good role models for me. So certainly um, my parents. Um, so I was, and I thought about this a lot too, um, I was raised with a sense that because I was a girl or a woman that um, nothing was off limits. And I'm not sure how they accomplished that um, growing up in the 60s and 70s, but I always had a sense that I could do whatever I wanted. So hopefully what I inspire them to do is to see that they can um, do any job that they want to do. Um, hopefully they see that you can be a mom and do any job that you want to do, if that's your choice. Um, in my case, they can be a grandmother and do whatever job they want to do. Um, and um, I guess I hope that's what they get. The one thing that, that for me was the most important thing is changing careers. So I actually had a um, 25 year career in business and I always knew I wanted some kind of second career. Um, and so I really analyzed what I like to do in my leisure time. I analyzed what made me happy. And so um, that's when I went back to school to get um, a degree in anthropology and become an archeologist. So, Uh, I'd like to think, because I'm a little bit fearless, um, sometimes I think probably a little too much with my heart and not with my head. Um, and I just thought, um, why not? It would be a decision I would have always regretted. So, um, I was at a point in my life where making um, money wasn't really um, a, a huge deal at that point. Um, and so I just wanted to do something completely different and something that I felt like fit my life a little bit better. And the added bonus was um, working at Ball State with students that I could have an impact on. So that was certainly not in the plan, but that's, um, I think, one of the best things.